No, no, let, let me give you a good gin story. Can That's you really verify good. the story? Like we need something 100%. It's me. Okay. <laughs> okay. With that. okay. Right. We're it's happy me. to listen. <laughs> so, so I traveled, traveled to India. Um, this was in 2016. Was it 2016? Yeah. So I went for Ertakaf in a masjid in Delhi. It was just me and this other brother. And it was by the, it's by the, uh, the place where Sha Imam Shawulila rahimullah is buried. So this masjid is, is literally, is, is surrounded like, surrounded by a graveyard, right? Now it's a small masjid, but it's, it's so spiritual. I spent the full 10 days there. And, you know, like you're sitting there in the night, this is it Atakaf time, it's the last 10 days of Ramadan, you're sitting there and I'm trying to do some ibadah and then I just lie down. And then what happens? You just sleep. Right, you sleep, and suhoor is going to be at three thirty. Like end of end of suhoor is three thirty. So adhan of fajr is going to go off after that, and I'm I'm knocked out in the in the in the masjid. And this would happen pretty much, I think, for the for the last ten nights, right? It, it happens because you get a bit tired, you lie down, you're not next, you're knocked out. I kid you not, there used to be something something used to wake me up for suhoor. And he used to grab my toe and shake my toe. There's nothing there. The other brother is in the corner. He's asleep. I, when I wake up, I'm, I'm nothing there. But somebody just grabbed my toe and just woke me up. This is a good jinn believer waking me up for suhoor so that I don't miss the suhoor. Then I would get up and I would do my suhoor. And every morning, I'd say, I'd say out of the seven, out of the ten nights, at least seven nights, he shook my toe and Could it have up. been an insect or something? <laughs> there's no, an insect that, 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 this, this is my toe, right? To this is my toe. This. Look, this is my toe, yeah. And I mean, this is India. Like <laughs> if it's a spirit, if it's a spirit, like, did, did, can it take a form? Like, does it take a The thing is, look, in the same masjid, I, I, I would, I would, the thing is, uh, okay, you can call me possessed, you can start saying I'm no. possessed, but I'm not. It's the only, only place where I'm hearing it. So, I'm in the masjid and I'm trying to so I do some dhikr or something in the masjid. And I'm hearing dhikr in the background. Allah. So it's a small masjid, right? small masjid. And I can clearly hear at least two different voices coming from the back of the masjid. And they're doing the dhikr of Allah. And I can hear, and I can hear that and night after night. I'm hearing, but I didn't bother because they're the believing jinns. And they love, they love human beings that are in this zikr, in tilawa, and they will try and be good to you. And I'm giving, trying to give you a good example of a, yeah. of, of, of a jinn story. So you don't story, need right? to be scared from jinns. No, they help you when, when, you know, when time comes, like brothers, you know, they, they'll help you. No problem. Sure. Don't, don't worry about it. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah.